Hello everybody. This is Chromus Girls One Night. And this is now how I expected to start this episode. Or sorry, 56 of my Let's Play of Skyrim. Right as I started to start the recording, the dragon showed up. <sighs> Time to bust out the bow. Anyway, uh, I'll pick up in a sec. Last we left off, all we did last episode was sell stuff, sell stuff. Finally got rid of everything that was stolen in my house. I put everything that was stolen in my inventory in my house. Because apparently I still have a little bit teeny tiny bounty in Windhelm, I guess. I guess I didn't work when I paid off the guard. Okay, arrows. Come on, dumb dragon. Land. Well, a dragon finally showed up in Riverwood. Can't say I wasn't su not really surprised. It was bound to happen eventually. Now where are you going? Get back here and fight me! I think I got in the butt, that's funny. Dang it! Come on, you dumb dragon. Land! Whoa! Seriously? Ah, oh, lands right in the middle of the dang village. Finally. Dumb dragon, why do you have to show up here? Just when I thought I got rid of all my stuff, I'm getting more. Everybody alive? Would you just shut up? I just killed this dragon. Should be thankful that it didn't kill you in the process. I've never seen such a thing. It's like the ancient legends. Dragonborn. No duh. Okay, I don't think anybody got killed. At least I assume not. Let's go and look, because I kept on aiming over here. Oh, Stump's still alive. That's good. I kept on coming back here and hitting it. Anything up here? 
No, nothing. It's not gonna can tell anyway. I guess everybody survived. I guess. Oh wait, I spoke too soon. A white grown guard died. Oh, a thief! Where did you come from, mister? I'm guessing he tried to fight the dragon or he got killed by a guard or something. I don't see any other casualties. As far as I can tell. Nope. Doesn't look like any other casualties. Alright. Uh, uh, like I was trying to do before that whole thing happened. I need to head to Solitude. Oh no. exciting end or beginning to a chapter an episode careful now seems there's always more to be done you got that right said the guy's a wood elf Hold on. There he is. Imperi need something? Uh, our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? <coughs> Sorry. I hope she knows what she's doing. Hey, I'm the Dragonborn. The will you shut it? I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Oh, Don't great. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Yeah, that's the bad you thing. You can't live without. And I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Hold on, I need to get a few I'll things ready. A few more minutes. I can't wait here all day. It's my neck on the line, remember? I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. Right as I freaking leave, you sing that. I completely forgot about that. Oh, wait. I got a home in solitude. I'll just store everything there. Need something? As much as I don't want to, I have to put things up. Hmm? Right, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding this evening. So many Lucky girl. Oh, I didn't know if you guys noticed, but Faith is a romantic at heart. She loves romance. And things have been getting romantic between her and Quintus, but they just ha nothing has happened yet. Now let me find some place to put all this stuff. Hey, what am I doing? I can't store that. I don't think I need all the soul gems.
all these ingredients. Fine. Only take the bare necessities with you. Ugh, these are gonna be the hard ones. Store, store. I'm not gonna need to breathe underwater, I'm not gonna need to chant. I'll keep the invisibility potions. Wait, wait, I wanted to keep the invisibility potions. Take. I can need that. Hopefully I won't need these. Don't need that. 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 I'm gonna probably need the sneaking, the healing potions, not the magicka. Get rid of everything else except this and this. Store the pickaxe, the dagger. There. Everything else goes with me. Oh good, I'm going the right way. I thought I was going the right way the other way. Hey, wanna play tag? No, I can't. I'm busy. Actually, before I talk to him, I'm gonna save just in case because I don't know about the equipment. Or I don't remember about the equipment. Because I remember doing this episode, this before, but the first time I did this, it was a thaw I was playing a Thawmore, so I didn't really have to worry as much. You ready yet? I need to get back before I missed. Remember, you won't have anything except what I smuggle in for you. <sighs> You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Fine, I'm ready. Here's what I'll need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Hold on. Uh, potions. I'm gonna need the. I'm gonna need the healing potions.
Okay, I gave him. You got no clothes. You should get some. <laughs> he actually Your mentioned. Get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Okay. Oh, that was hilarious. Pardon me. Excuse me. Lady Atia says my voice is second only to hers, but she's selling me short. I wish the baby would go to sleep. Do I need to keep my money with me? Oh, wait. Do I have any fine clothes anywhere? I should have some clothes. In the bedroom, at least. There. Now she's got something on. Yeah, baby nappy. Sorry, little guy, but you need a little nap. He's only had, I think, one nap today. Okay, let's check on the quest. Meet Delphine at the stables. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to meet her. Apparently. Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it. No, you're not. Have you given Nalborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yeah. Yep. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. Okay. I figured that the clothes I had grabbed were fine, but they're the same freaking thing. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? <sighs> I'm ready. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Okay, so I didn't Just have to do sure that. You get back out of there alive with the information we need. Great. Just great. Ah, a fellow latecomer to Ellen's little soiree. And yep. Arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, my good lady. Welcome to the Thormor Embassy. To get Your invitation, please. Your invitation, please. Here. Thank you, ma'am. Go no, right in. Here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thumb. <sighs> Welcome. I don't believe we've met. No. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? I hope they'll serve the roast venison and bitter green sauce that we had at our last party. That's nice to meet you. Ah, 
Why, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. How she managed to do that is beyond me. About yourself. What brings you to this? To Skyrim. What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. Okay. Thank you. The Grey Quarter. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Yes, what do you need? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Sounds too good to be true. I'll wager it was all for Dang it. Um, how do I do this again? It has been so freaking long. Maybe he thought it would bolster recruitment. What what does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Actually, there's something you can do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Get everybody's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Oh, great! Stand back and behold my handiwork. Good to know. Attention, everyone! Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our mistress. What are you doing? I speak figuratively. <sighs> Nothing could be more unlikely than that. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Although most of you are Phew. already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Let me do the talking. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to offend our Thalmor overlords, would you? Shoot. Did I not get my gear? Hold on. Let me try this again. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, oh, pardon me, friend. I didn't see you standing there. Allow me to introduce myself. Rosalind. Imports and exports by trade. Observer of human nature by avocation. Ah, the... If there's anything I can ever do for... Wonderful! Is that all? Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement. I hold on. Pose a toast to Ellen Wynn. Our mistress. What I doing? speak figure in her. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing Before anyone notices us. That someone would actually want her in their bed. Although most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody's slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Oh, good to know. You need to pass through the Just kitchen. Stay. Most Your gear is hidden in the talking. larder. Got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malburn? 
You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zabani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Have you visited No matter how harsh. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Even when every other farm hold is barely scraping by, the harvest at your risk is always bound. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might the notice something's wrong. Good luck. You see those robes You're on your own this now. morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries treat. Here's where the potions come in handy. But no, they're high mages just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to bend it. Face from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. Oh my god. I know, but he hasn't really had one nap today. <sighs> Great. I will see you guys next time. I'm with my scar, baby crying.